everyone. My topic of presentation is sonomammographic and sonoelastographic evaluation of benign and malignant breast lesions and its correlation with fine needle aspiration cytology. My name is Dr. Anisha Mondul, second year junior resident, Department of Radio Diagnosis, Wakro Shomilari Medical College, and my co author is Dr. Khushubu Gaul, senior resident of the same department and same college. Introduction Breast cancer affects 25.8% of women worldwide. Ultrasonic elastography is a non-invasive imaging method that can measure the tissue stiffness related to different pathologic conditions based on the idea that malignant tumors are stiffer under compression. Precise identification and pinpointing in the E-mode is a promising alternative to the conventional ultrasound elastography. Aim of the study to assess the diagnostic accuracy of sonomammography and sonoelastography in diagnosing breast lesions in correlation with FNACH gold standard. Objectives to classify lesions according to biliars and sonoelastography, to correlate the above findings with FNSC, to calculate the diagnostic accuracy and thus reducing the need for FNSC, to compare the diagnostic accuracy in case of suspicious sonographic features. Materials and methods Study type analytical, study design cross sectional. Phase of the study is sonology room in our college. Sample size is 52 female patients with breast lesions. Study tools are G ultrasonography machine with 3 to 12 MHz linear transistor and FNC report from the Department of Pathology. Inclusion criteria All the female patients aged 18 years and above refer to the uh, radio diagnosis department for USC of the breast lesion. Exclusion criteria Patients not capable of giving consent, not willing to participate in the study, unfit for FNC or post up bilateral mastectomy patient, already diagnosed patient, and the lesion which are indeterminate by FNC. These are the virus category which are very known to us. Now strain elastography of the breast lesion. At first the patient is placed in supine position, then the probe oriented perpendicular to the chest wall, then moderate vertical light compressions is applied over the lamp 3 to 5 times, then the beam of breast scale image and the elasticity image are displayed side by side. This is the elasticity score or the Sukuba score. Above score 4 is considered as malignant and uh, below that is uh, benign. Score 1 consists of lesion which are complete deformable and uh, the increasing the score, score 5 is the lesion uh, which are stiff and the surrounding area are also stiff. Size ratio, malignant ratio are known to appear larger in size in elastogram than on the BMOT images. It is calculated by dividing the elasticity image ratio size by the BMOT size. Cutoff point or more or equal to 1.2 is considered as malignant in this study. Strain ratio also known as fasciculation ratio when applied to breast. It measures how steep the lesion in comparison to the tissue around it. Strain ratio is measured by mean strain ratio of fat area divided by mean strain in the lesion of interest. Malignancy is predicted by strain ratio of more or equal to 4.5 in this study. This is a case of fibroadenoma on strain elastography with Sukuba score 2, strain ratio of 1.9 and size ratio of 0.99. This is a case of DCIs with bias score 4 and Sukuba score 5, strain ratio of 1.9. Result this shows the pathological distribution of the breast lesion in which we can see the fibroadenoma is the most common that is 44% and among the malignant lesion ductal carcinoma in C2 is more common that is 15%. This is the age distribution of benign and malignant breast lesions in which we can see in the younger age group the benign lesions are more common and when in the uh, older age group the malignant lesions are more common. This table is the correlation of sonomammography and sonoelastography with the FNAC accuracy. Modalities are Vidar's elastography score, strain ratio and size ratio. All of the modalities have p-value of less than 0 0.0001. Discussion. This table number 2 shows elasticity score wise distribution of the cases in which mean elasticity score for benign and malignant lesions are 2.1 and 4.69 respectively. These values are similar to a study conducted by Akko Vito and colleagues in 2004. Table 3 shows the strain ratio wise distribution of the cases in which mean strain ratio for benign and malignant lesions are 2.58 and 8.54. In table 4 there is size ratio wise distribution of the cases in which uh, the mean size ratio for benign and malignant lesions are 0.97 and 1.35 respectively. These values in the two tables are in concordance with the study by seeing et al in 2020. Accuracy of virus in diagnosing benign versus malignant lesions was 86.5% which is lower as compared to elastography score with accuracy of 90.3%. The sensitivity of strain ratio was 85.7% which is 
which was similar to sensitivity of size ratio and that of virus indicating no significant difference between these tests. These findings were in concordance with a study by Xiao Ling Zhao in 2012, which showed sensitivity of strain ratio to be 87.7% when a cutoff value of more or equal to 3.06 was considered. Conclusion This study shows that breast gelastography with conventional USG can reach the high specificity and high negative predictive value. Easier to classify virus 3 category lesions, which are benign with a probability of malignancy and thus leading to further patient suffering, cost, and resource wastage. Virus category 3 and 4 lesions with benign findings on sonoelastography can be downgraded to category 2 and 3 respectively, thus reducing the number of false positive malignancy cases and further follow up and biopsy. These are the references used in this study. Thank you.